Good morning, this is Lutana. I'm going to go over a brief introduction to our UF 300 course and how to operate through the Blackboard site that we've chosen for this class. So if you click on your My Boise State, you'll get a list of your courses. You'll see these are the other ones I'm teaching. Um, we'll look at Spring 13, UF 300. You'll go into there. Here is our course site where I've chosen this picture of these uh, of these little stones on here. And the way I've set up this class is that um, the tabs on the left side here are set up to where we have an announcements and that's where you enter into the course. In order to get into read the announcements though in, within this box you'll come down here and just click on welcome and there's my welcome announcement. Then if we look at current week, this is where that week's content will always be posted. So this is kind of the place you're going to check for everything that you need to do that week. So when we look in week one here, you'll see we're going to explore the Blackboard site. We're going to take a look at the syllabus and course schedule, and then you're going to post an introduction on the discussion board. And you'll also take this week one quiz. And so all of this is located right here within the folder. Obviously, you'll need to look around this week for, for these other content items. The discussion board, we're going to have a discussion board 11 of the 16 weeks. And so the discussion board, to get to that, it's right here. However, to get the quiz, you would just click on week one quiz and you'll get this begin quiz. If you're ready to begin, click begin. The quizzes this quiz, once you start it, you have to finish it. You can't come back and save it or take it later. Um, once you start, you have to finish. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of there because I don't want you to see the questions yet. That's for you to find out. We don't have a lot of quizzes. We'll have a midterm quiz um, will be the next one that you're going to need. This gives you an introduction to that. Um, but in order to post in the discussion board then, you'll come over here to discussion board and this week what you're doing is an introduction. When you post to the discussion board, what I'd like you to do is go in here to week one introductions because I'm going to post one and then you're going to create a thread. So each of your new threads you're going to create and what I'd like you to title each of your week's discussions is actually your name. And that way then, that's how we'll have our threads organized, is by student name. So here I would type in Lutana Han, and I could say, I have been And I'm going to go ahead and submit this. I can come back later and edit that. But there's my post. And then others can go in and read that and respond to that if they want. So if I read that post, then I could reply here. And that's how we would go ahead and have you reply to others' posts within the class. In the previous week's tabs, right now the only thing that's showing up is week one. However, as the semester goes on, this is where you would look, go back to look at prior class information. The next tab here we have is syllabus and schedule, and this is where I'm going to have you spend some time on your own looking at this. I will show you the syllabus briefly real quick to point out a few main points here. The best way to reach me is my email. I do check that frequently Monday through Friday, um, but I do allow myself 24 hours to get back to you in that I do have some courses such as labs on Monday and longer labs on Tuesday and Thursday where I can't always get right back to you. And I don't check it real frequently in over the weekend, so sometimes those will be until you might not hear back from me until Monday. Um, you're also welcome to call me though if you if you would like to. Also, here's 
the basic learning objectives that we're looking at. So we want you to be able to write and communicate about these theories and principles that we're going to talk about and engage in thinking about and defining problems, think creativity, think creatively about solving complex problems. And these are really um, learning objectives from the university that, that meet this requirement for the foundations program. Um, we're going to work with teamwork, and so we have some statements about that. And we, these next couple things are for you to read through as far as academic integrity and conduct, some things on netiquette and from the ADA, and copyright statements, course behavior, how we would like you to behave in the course. As far as readings go, articles will be provided for you on the Blackboard site or they will be found in the Albertsons Library. You don't need a textbook for this course. Part of UF 300, however, is um, to adapt sections of the Campus Read. This year's Campus Read is The Last Flight of the Scarlet Macaw. And we will have some short activities around this. If you are interested in reading the book in its entirety, it is available through the Albertsons Bookstore or on Amazon not the Albertsons bookstore, the um, Boise State bookstore or Amazon, um, but I will post PDF portions of the text that we'll be looking at in the weeks where we cover that. As far as grading goes, grading is broken down into four big chunks. One is assigned homework that's done individually or some maybe group assignments. Discussion board is 30 percent of your grade and discussion board works that you're going to do a posting on the week's content and that's actually a pretty big post. I'm really looking at kind of a post of you know three or four paragraphs or about two pages of double spaced content. And what I do with these is I will read these um, throughout the semester but I don't grade everyone and I don't necessarily read everyone in part because of the size of the class. So what I've decided to do is of the 11 I will randomly select three to read and grade. Um, and so that's how the discussion board grade works. Then there will be a midterm exam. This were 25% of your grade. And then a big portion of this class involves a group paper that's explained here in the syllabus that's within a group. And the groups will be assigned about week five to where you'll get an idea of who you're going to be partnering up with that. And then I follow the regular letter grading that for Boise State. So here talks a little bit about those weekly discussion board postings. Again, please make sure you read through and you're clear on how to do those. This first post this week where you're introducing yourself, I do not expect that. You do not have to make that one meet these same requirements. It can just be a brief introduction. There are some in, there's some information on this group paper. Then there's some information there about the written exam that you'll want to look at. Again, it's going to it's going to run from April 1st to April 7th. That's when that exam will be open. Brief statement about the homework. Homework is spread out occasionally throughout the semester in certain weeks that we'll look at on the schedule. This is the rubric that I use, or the rubric is basically here's how I grade you on your discussion board. So if you want to get a full 50 points, you have to have a really good explanation of what you're telling me about, reference with at least two sources, and so on. This follows down on the grading of your posts. And here's some information about your group paper. So these wind up being about 10 to 12 pages and 10 references. And this is going to be due that first Monday of finals week. And you'll have plenty of time, especially towards the end of the semester, to work on this as a group. And this goes through. This is the how I'm going to grade that paper is listed on these next couple of boxes. Um, and what full credit means. And then these last couple pages aren't quite as important for you, but it was really, it's part of, again, covering the needed learning outcomes, which are stated here. There's one through six of these university learning outcomes. That's how we're covering those for the university. They're asking us to do that for this foundation's course. 
Let's briefly look at the schedule. Again, please take a closer look at this on your own, but what I've done is each week we go from we go from Monday to Monday basically each week. And um, the primary topic is listed, followed by what assignments you're going to be doing that week and how what kind of grade you're going to get is what I've kind of put under this outcome measures. So this week you're going to do an introduction on Blackboard and take that quiz on the course site. So it not only gets you familiar with taking a quiz online, but also has you get a little bit more familiar with the discussion board posting. Next week we're going to do some reading and learn more. It's a, it's a three-part assignment on looking at using the library. So this goes through our schedule. So you're going to want to keep this pretty handy to keep you on track, but also this will be posted again. Your current week is always posted here in this file for what's going on right now. And if you want to look back at what we've been through, you can click on that Previous Links tab. Um, course Links right now doesn't have anything in it yet. There again, you can find my contact information quickly. My grades isn't going to show anything right now, but this is where you will check your grades that are going to occur throughout the semester. Um, tools are other ways for you to get in touch with um, other other students. So this is where you could send email to people in the class or to me. Once we set up the groups, um, this function will become more active and I'll explain that when we get to that point in the class. Um, help is really a Blackboard help and these other things you're not going to need to use and I might actually be getting rid of those once I make this um, available. Okay, so that really does explain the course. Again, look closely over the syllabus and schedule. This week, do a nice post to the discussion board, and I'm really looking forward to teaching this class. We have a lot of fun content to cover, and a lot of things that we are presented with as respiratory therapists that we're going to work through talking about how, how this affects us ethically as in our profession, and then how we really advocate for patients in cer certain circumstances where they really need somebody um, to do the right thing and we'll, we'll, we'll spend some time talking about that. If you have questions, drop me an email is the best place to, is the best way to reach me and happy spring 2013 to you.